as if the latest on Johnny and Kate, the constant slew of movie remakes, and jealousy claims from stupid fangirls weren't enough, something else must annoy me to top it all off. Ladies and gentlemen, the latest target that sucks balls are car commercials. Why did I happen to catch this sack of rotting feces? It was either that or a bestiality film, which I am sure all you Avril Lavigne fans who call her a punk are jacking off to. These commercials are annoying already with their unrealistic messages, but the repetitiveness of this shit will drive any sane person over the edge. Note to the producers and writers of this shit. A car will not help me find a girlfriend or help me earn millions of dollars. A car couldn't even help a man with Asperger's syndrome, like myself, find a girlfriend, because it is that challenging to us. Like money, cars cannot buy people happiness, so stop fucking claiming that they can. The worst part about all of this is the needless repetitiveness of car commercials. Why must two or more car commercials air during the same fucking commercial break? Wouldn't one be enough? If I were in charge, there'd be only one car commercial every hour, so people wouldn't feel the need to take this drug seriously. Whoever likes repetitiveness of anything, whether it be listening to one song every 30 minutes in the radio or watching a movie five times a day, should consult a doctor. I hate repetitiveness as much as I hate people who use sarcasm. Not to my surprise, people who use sarcasm must be fans of FM radio playing one song every 30 minutes or seeing to car commercials every fucking commercial break. Just as bad is the fact that there are people who believe the messages that car commercials send. Where the fuck would anyone get the idea that a car can improve anything in their life? Cars are nice to have and beat needing rides and taking a bus, but they are also a financial burden and will make you feel the need to spend more hours at work. And has any girl or guy flocked to their significant other because of their car? If there is a person who has, you are superficial, as fuck. If it weren't for TiVo and DGRs this car commercial shit would drive me insane. TiVo and DGRs are a blessing for people who can avoid this nonsense. But if you are somebody who thinks car commercials are entertaining and funny, you deserve to suffer as much as trend followers deserve to suffer. Whoever makes car companies feel the need to wear this shit deserve to be the victims of bullying just like internet trolls like WhatsApp and Pimp Anthony 007. TV sucks, as it is with the slew of reality TV shows and lackluster remakes of shows nobody should touch. The disease that is car commercials shouldn't add to it. It is my hope that nobody here wishes to continue this horrific trend.